All right, it's media day. And we are talking 85A Division One. I almost said Division Two again. Coach, I'm here with Barbers Hill head coach Carl Adsick. Coach, going into your third year. First of all, let's talk about your second year, which was a, a new district for you. Nine teams, very competitive. Uh, you ended up finishing second, a tie for second uh, with Kingwood Park. Uh, you guys both fell a little short behind Port Arthur Memorial. But if you look at your district games, I mean, you lost by a touchdown in Laporte. You lost by you lost by two to, to Memorial. You were right in there in all these games. Talk about what you saw with your team and, and how you can kind of build off of it for this coming year. Well, I think our, more than anything, our kids have continued to get a better to, uh, grasp of what we're doing offensively and defensively uh, to play the style that we want to play on both sides of the ball. Uh, we had a full off season uh, going into this year. And so that was certainly helpful. Uh, had a, you know, had spring ball. We had a lot of more opportunities for growth uh, going into that second year than we did the first year. And so I think, you know, all those factors, along with having some really talented kids, allowed us to to be right in the thick of it all the way through uh, the district race, which is a, a really, really competitive district. Uh, and our kids gave us a chance to be successful and uh, and and really fought hard. And and even in the two games we fell short, you know, we had opportunities to uh, to change the outcome. And and so, you know, gave us a lot of confidence moving forward that you know if we play the way we're capable of and we continue to develop like we want to develop, then you know, we were going to have opportunities to win a championship. You got Cody coming back. You got Brady. You got Kyler coming back. Are you guys, are you excited about your your offensive firepower? Uh, yes. You know, we've got, a, you know, a large number of our, our playmaker, playmakers back. You know, um, honestly, we, we returned three of our top four receivers from this past year with, with uh, Brady and Kyler and Tripp. Uh, and then, you know, we, we hope to get back in, in, in great time. Uh, Josiah Herndon, who had 17 touchdowns as a sophomore and missed his junior year for injury. Uh, so we're, you know, we're, we're excited to get him back. Uh, you got a kid named Landon Smith who, you know, caught, I think, five touchdowns last year um, and, made, and is the fastest kid in the district, um, you know, coming off of his uh, track season where he's had phenomenal success. Uh, you know, at receiver, we feel really good about where we're at. We've got a couple guys uh, to add to that that I think are going to really contribute to our team and, and to our depth. Um, and, and so we're excited about that group at receiver for sure. And then obviously with Cody pulling the trigger, uh, you know, we have we have to rebuild the offensive line a little bit, but we have some guys back that had experience. Uh, you know, and then we have Jaden Rodriguez uh, back as a, as a running back um, that I think – is going to really open some eyes up. He he's you know had a great track season as well, and and played quite a bit as a sophomore. So I think uh, all those guys are really going to contribute to us having you know a, a successful year offensively. Talked about the offensive line, but defensively, are, are we still good in the trenches as well? There. Yes, I think so. I think biggest question mark in terms of you know where we lost the most uh, experience was in the is in the secondary on defense. You know our front our front seven um, really we bring back you know, seven guys for, for, for seven spots uh, in a sense that, that have really good experience. All four linebackers played or started last year, every game. Uh, and then two, our two defensive ends are both back. So we have to replace the nose, uh, but we feel really good about the potential we have there. And then secondary wise though, we lost three out of the four starters. So that's kind of where we're going to be rebuilding, but I think we got some talented kids to hopefully step into those roles and uh, we'll grow up fast and, and, uh, you know, the good news is, is the front is pretty, pretty strong. And I think, you know, they can put a, put a rush on the quarterback a little bit and it makes your job in the secondary a little bit better. You take a look at this district, it's a nine team district. So you have to, you got to worry about your not very much warm up time before you get in the district play. You got the two all non district games and you get right into it. But you, you take a look at some of these teams, you know, Kingwood Park, they, they relied a lot on Overmeyer and Richards and they're both gone. Prosper, mm -hmm. as we just learned recently, has got a coach turnover there, so it's going to take a little while to adjust there, possibly. But they got some good running game. If there's a, if there's a chance to make a, a pounce at a district title, this is you, you're probably feeling pretty good about it going in, right? Well, I feel like we're going to be right there in the hunt for sure. You know, I mean, that's what our expectation is. That's what we're telling the kids. That's what the goal is. Uh, but there's you know eight other teams that are going to be standing in that way. You know, I think Port Arthur Memorial has to obviously. Uh, get be given their due respect. I mean, they were the district champs last year, and they've got a good number of kids coming back as well. 
Um, and so, you know, there's, you know, Laporte was young, uh, really did some good things last year, you know, had a, had a really tough injury to one of their best players that kind of hurt them down the stretch. Um, so I think they're going to be right there in the hunt. So, I mean, there's, there's a number of good teams that, that all are going to be shooting for that same, that same goal. But yeah, I, our goal is to win it. And that's what our expectation is, is to win the district. Man, I tell you what, this one's going to be a good district. Nine teams fighting for four spots. It's always, it's always exciting, especially when they're both very, uh, very skilled teams out there. So we will keep an eye on this district and, and I hope your third season goes with the district title coach. Well, I do too. You know, we're working, we've worked real hard. The kids have put in a lot of time and effort and the coaches. Uh, so we're excited about our potential. And then now it's our goal, our goal and our job to go out and make it happen.